dear students today we will be discussing about cylindrical coordinate system now imagine a point in a three dimensional space suppose this is the x axis this is the y axis and this is the z axis this is the point in which you are interested whose coordinates are x y and z now if you recall what we did in case of a cartesian coordinate system from this point p we draw a perpendicular of any suitable length in the x y plane right and from this point we draw two lines which are parallel to x and y axes then this vertical denotes the z parameter this denotes the y and this denotes the x parameter or x coordinate of this point p now if r is the radius vector pointing along the direction of radius of the cylinder and it makes an angle phi with the x axis remember this phi is having a direction from x to y that is in the counter clockwise direction right then the component of r along x axis will be r cos phi and obviously along y axis it will be r sin phi so we have specified the three cylindrical coordinates the three cylindrical coordinates are r along the radius of the cylinder phi this is the angle which the radius vector makes with the x axis and its direction is from x to y that is in the counter clockwise direction and z is the height along the vertical z axis right now we know that the position vector of this point p will be written by xi plus yj plus zk in terms of cylindrical coordinates we know this x is how much r cos phi so it is r cos phi i y is r sin phi j plus zk this is the position vector of the point p whose cartesian coordinates are x y and z now what is the r vector this r vector it can be written as x i plus y j and that is how much that is only r cos phi i plus r sin phi j this r can also be written as r r cap where r cap is the unit vector pointing along the direction of r so this is r cos phi i plus r sin phi j therefore r cap is how much dividing throughout by r and that gives cos phi i plus sin phi j so we have found r vector we have found phi phi, phi is only an angle and we don't need to put it vectorially it's simply an angle whose direction is from x to y and z is the vertical coordinate representing the height of the cylinder right so we have specified r phi and z now the direction of r is given by r cap we have also found an expression for that now we need to find an expression for phi cap which gives the direction along the increasing phi so phi cap by concept will be pointing will be leading this r by an angle of phi by 2 and you know these details i have told you about this in the previous videos also that this phi cap vector which points along the direction of increasing phi from x to y will be actually leading r by how much 90 along the entire plane by how much 90 therefore wherever you find phi in the r expression you will uh, replace that by phi plus phi by 2 in case of phi expression so it will simply be cos of phi plus phi by 2 i plus sine of phi plus pi by 2 j and cos of this is minus sine phi i and sine of this is cos phi j so we have also found the phi cap and what is k cap k cap is simply the unit vector along along z axis and it is the same as in case of cartesian coordinates right now since what did you assume you assume that x is r cos phi and y is r sin phi y is r sin phi you can square and add them up so x square plus y square is how much 
r square so r is under root x square plus y square so this is the equation of a circle and this is true we know the plane of a cylinder is actually a circle so the plane of a cylinder is plane of a cylinder it is a circle it is a circle we can imagine a cylinder as a heap of circles a heap of circles so the plane of a cylinder is a circle therefore the equation of this plane is actually the equation of circle that is r square is x square plus y square now if we divide these two we get uh, tan phi is equal to y by x so phi is tan inverse y by x which gives the direction of r in the xy plane and this is all about cylindrical coordinate system so that's all